Hello everyone, welcome to Civil Brains YouTube channel. So in this lecture, we will try to see what are the different types of foundation. You might have heard about isolated footing, combined footing and all this footing, right? But we'll try to understand what are different types of footing, how the classification of them is done and how a rough foundation is going to look. We'll try to see that. Okay. Yeah. So basically uh, what we will start is see foundation is classified as a shallow foundation and the deep foundation. So in the shallow foundation, we have a strip foundation. Then we have spread or isolated foundation. Then we have a combined footing. Foundation is a bigger part. In that we, we call it as a footing. Then we call it as a combined footing. Then we have a mat or a rough footing. Okay. So uh, we'll not get into the theory part. Directly I'll show you the images so that you can understand them one by one. So this was the footing which we were providing uh, during uh, olden days when we were going for a load bearing uh, construction and all. Okay. So that is called as a strip foundation. So you are going to provide a foundation in a strip wise. So it's called as a strip foundation over that your lateral stone or your load bearing structure was going to come. After that, when we started with this uh, frame structure and all like column, beam, slab and all. Now, uh, in that case, what we went is we went with the uh, isolated footing. So isolated means only one column will be there. If this is my column, I'll show you. If this is my column, uh, then this will be my footing. On this footing, only one column will be there. So that is why it is called as isolated. Now in isolated, we have different categories. But this is called as a pad footing. Few people call this as a pad footing. Okay. So again, this is also isolated footing only, but it is called as a step footing because you are providing step number one. This is your step number two. This is a pedestal, but only two steps are there. Sometimes three steps also will come. So you can see it here. Here also there are two steps. This is step number one. This is step number two. Apart from that, we have one more footing. This is called as your slow footing or few people call it as a trapezoidal footing. So this is also isolated footing. This is also isolated footing. Isolated and isolated because on one footing, only one column is there. Okay. But the problem is that here the shape is different. Here you have complete throughout. You have only one depth. So it's called as a pad footing. It is called as a step footing. In step, we have two step and we have three step footing. This is a slow footing. Apart from that, uh, we don't provide a circular footing in the normal construction. If it is your this thing, what is that? Uh, water tank construction and all there we provide a circular footing. But for normal residential commercial buildings and all we don't provide. But always your circular footing is good because it can distribute the load in all the four areas and the pressure beneath that will be equal. But doing this on the paper is easy. Doing it on the construction side is difficult. Then you have to provide the you know reinforcement in the radial direction and all, and then putting putting the shuttering is also difficult. That is why you 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 don't see a circular footing anywhere. Okay, fine. Apart from that, the next one what we have is the eccentric footing. So this eccentric footing is sometimes called as a strap footing also. Like why it is called a strap footing? Because what happens in eccentric footing whenever you are doing a construction uh, in the boundary area, like when I say construction, let's say if this is your plot area okay one minute if this is your plot area and you don't want to leave any setback distance and you if you're putting all your column at the boundaries only if this is your boundary of your home and if you're putting all the column at the boundary then definitely when you're designing the footing the footing will go outside your boundary so it will go in an adjacent boundary so your neighbor neighbors are not so kind enough that they will allow you to put rest your footing so you cannot do that you have to take it inside the moment you take it inside, what happens? It becomes a eccentric. Eccentric means in the previous case, what used to happen? Your column CG and the footing CG used to match. But here, your column CG is here. Your footing CG is here. So you can see this is a center actually. But your column center is here and your footing center is here. Because of this eccentricity, P into E, a moment is created. So that is why it becomes a eccentric footing. So in order to take care of this eccentric footing, you cannot, if you just increase the size of the footing, or if you increase the, just the depth of the footing, it will never satisfy the requirement of that P by A plus M by Z equation. So in that case, you have to connect that with the beam because beams can take your moment. Okay, that is why you have to connect that with the beam. So this beam, people call it as a strap beam. So you can see it here, one footing, this is concentric footing. This is the eccentric footing. And then you are to transfer this moment, whatever moment P into E you are going to generate because of this uh, eccentricity, that will be taken by your beam. So you have to connect the beam with a column. And if there is no surrounding footing, then you can give a big beam at the end of the footing. That is what we try to do. Okay, fine. Understood. These are the different types of footing. Apart from that, this is also your isolated footing. You can see one footing which has been provided here. This is called as a combined footing. So this particular footing, what you can see, it's called as a combined footing. Now, 
why will provide combined footing when your two isolated footings are merging when they are very close to each other if they are going to overlap in that case instead of providing two isolated footing we will provide one footing and we call it as a combined footing so a combined footing minimum two columns will be there two or three four columns also may be there in the combined footing well, only the difference is in a combined footing you will have a top reinforcement and bottom reinforcement in isolated footing also you will have a top mesh but depends on the condition if there is some heavy structure steel structures and all are going to come then definitely will be providing a top reinforcement normal residential building and all only bottom reinforcement is sufficient sometime what people do is of course we don't provide such kind of footings but i'm telling you sometime you provide a combined footing with a step so this is first step this is second step but again all these things are done just to save the concrete and all but execution will be difficult better go with a single step and provide a combined footing apart from that this footings are called as a raft or the mat foundation raft and mat mat both are same so now what happens since you are given so many columns if you are giving isolated footing everywhere all the columns are going to merge all the footings are going to merge when all the footings are going to merge instead of giving a isolated footing better for the entire building you give only one footing that is called as a raft or the mat foundation so you can see only one foundation has been given so it's called as mat foundation a mat foundation here also you can see mat or raft both are one and the same and you can see one column second column third fourth fifth all the columns are there and you have provided a complete foundation there it's called as a mat or a raft foundation so you can see here when you're working on some uh, big tall structures and all definitely go with a mat or a raft mat or a raft foundation only so you can see it here all these are your mat foundations or a raft foundation only thing is here you will be having a double mesh sometime it, it will increase also based on the load coming so all these are your rough foundation then the concreting will be done okay so you can see it here all these are your rough foundations only all these are your rough foundations okay all these are your rough foundation everything is a rough okay fine and then you can see here also they are arranging the rough foundation all these are a reinforcement what they are arranging for the rough foundation sometime in rough foundation also you have different types so this is only normal rough sometime in the rough foundation you provide a beams also to take care of the additional moment and all so again it all depends on the conditions based on the load coming and all will provide apart from that we have a so far whatever i discuss all those were your shallow foundation now if we get into the deep foundation we have pile foundation then we have caissons then we have floating foundation we have grillage foundation we have well foundation then we have pile and draft which is called as a hybrid foundation but for a normal residential building and all your isolated and combined footing is sufficient at least up to g plus 5 story building suppose if your soil is very weak and all then we can go with a pile foundation but if you are constructing a huge high rise when i say high rise let's say 10 floor 15 floor and all you can go with a raft foundation but if it's a huge structure and all then you can go with a pile and a raft combination okay so again it all depends on what kind of building you are constructing what is the quality of your soil what is the sbc of your soil based on that all these things will be decided so this is your pile foundation all these things are called as your pile foundation this will be a pile cut off level then if you require you have to provide a pile cap and all so this is a pile this are the pile reinforcement which you are going to uh, prepare on the side then you are going to lower it down Uh, all the boring will be done then you have to insert this pile reinforcement inside then you have to do the concreting so this is called as a floating foundation which again we don't use in the normal construction practice if you are doing offshore construction offshore means whatever we are doing it's onshore on the land we are constructing but if you are doing something in the uh, on the you know oceans and all we are going to do some construction and all this oil and natural uh, oil and gas people and all they require some uh, temporary structures and all in order to you know extract the oil and all so in that case you can go with the Uh, in the offshore structures and all you will provide such kind of foundation so this is called as a uh, what is a floating foundation okay yeah and these are your this thing what is that caissons and all okay we are going to drill all these things and then you are going to lower the reinforcement so this are this is called as grillage foundation but i don't we normally uh, i i to haven't used such kind of foundation anywhere again depends here what we do is you are using all the steel columns all these are steel i beams and all so steel beams and the concrete if you do it is called as a grillage foundation which i haven't seen i don't know where they exactly use it and these are your well foundation and all suppose if you are constructing sir bridges and all those things there is a flow of water but you want to stop the flow of the water such kind of uh, structure you are going to construct first so that you are just you know uh, separating the water and then the uh, foundation will be constructed so this is a foundation which was done in the burj khalifa and all so what they have done this is a pile foundation over the pile you are going to provide a raft so it's called as a pile plus raft which is called as hybrid foundation all this are your pile foundation then you have put up the raft foundation and over that your normal structure and all is going to come so it's a high rise building they have put a pile 
after the pile the raft is going to come then your basement and all those things are going to come okay this is how it looks all these are pipes what they have uh, drilled they are concreted okay over that the reinforcement will be put and this is your pile cap what you can see okay you get all this are you see this is a pile foundation they have done all the piles has been casted after the pile that has been casted then you are going to put the raft over that raft means ra mat or raft earlier it was only mat foundation but here pile and raft both you are going to use so you can see here all these are your raft what they have constructed and after that the mat foundation mats you are going to put got it yeah so that was all about the foundation part of course i did not explain you the complete thing like where to use this and all those things uh, i'll be explaining in my entire course you can download my civil brain app so in the civil brain app when you enroll in my construction manager mastery course or you enroll in my 6 in 1 combo course or in my uh, 3 in 1 combo course here we will try to understand the logic behind because it requires a lot of understanding where do you provide that how to read the structural drawings right now i did not show any drawing but when you enroll in the course my course is available in both hindi and english language if i go to the english language if i go to the first drawing first level one it's a site execution what i am teaching you right now no this entire ppt i have prepared and also i'll be teaching you everything practically from the site if i'm showing you something here i'll show you the practical videos of all these things you will, i'll show it here so if i click on this and if i click on this part and if i show you here everything practically from the site we will try to understand how the excavations are done each and everything with the help of beautiful ppts i will explain to each and everything practical how do you do a center line marking and all so all these things will do it practically from the site so that whenever you go to the site no, you don't have to worry whatever things you are going to encounter on your construction site all those things i'm going to take care of this here and also we'll try to understand what are the types of footing i explained to you you can see a uh, types of footing and where to use what kind of footing how to, how to read the drawings and all so each and everything i have explained in my course you can download my civil brain app and there are a lot of offers going on you don't have to pay 15000 rupees for the course you can get it for 9999 and you get a lifetime access and you get all my future courses and whatever i teach you everything will be practically from the side there won't be anything like 3d modeling teaching and whatever i teach whatever projects i work on same thing with help of practical site videos how the beam reinforcement are to be done how the reinforcement are to be arranged what are the concept behind that each and everything will try to understand in a better way so i'm just speaking of only one course right now in the same way we will also try to understand about uh, water tank construction then we'll try to understand about the quality control we'll understand how to read the structural drawings the structural drawing itself is almost a uh, 30 hours of the content we'll try to understand each and everything like g plus 1 g plus 2 g plus 3 g plus 4 building high rise building industrial building interior drawing commercial building airport drawing high rise building and all apart from that we'll also try to understand how to uh, how to do the quantity estimation how to do the bar bending schedule boq preparation we'll have a interview preparation course we'll have a concrete technology course we'll have a course on ms excel we'll understand the basic project planning and all then also we'll try to understand about the steel structure and all so this is the entire course what we have along with that i'll show you one more benefit of enrolling in the course yeah all those are enrolled in my course you can check out the you know reviews given by my students and all great course or next level course each and every process of construction has been discussed at the microscopic level from the foundation to finishing so you can uh, check out you can read out the content you can read out the reviews and all so that you get an idea to what level you are going to learn sir i recently got placed with a diploma engineer training in kc international through your construction manager course i got all the knowledge about the construction because this guy thank you so much i'm amol madali one of you learning in all your academic courses and glad to inform you that my confidence level is raising okay you can go through all the courses these are the students those are enrolled in my construction manager mastery course okay and these are the students those are directly go to the ongoing construction site and give their interview there itself and they get selected you can re read the review there so he is a student who went to an interview after four years of gap uh, there were six people who came for the uh, interview only he got selected and you can see all the reviews given by few of my students are working in australia and all okay these are the student from argentina student from australia and uh, you can see his all courses are wonderful uh, i'll just go through all the reviews just pause the video and you know read all the reviews so that you get an idea to what level really comprehensive course and not just any marketing course very informative highly recommended okay so these are the students those who were able to do the site execution through my online course uh, these are the people pay 15 20 25 30000 to learn all these things in offline and that too they don't learn it in a technical way so in my course we try to cover all those things both on site execution and the technical concept i got a job abroad in my first interview now i am in saudi arabia okay so again these are the students uh, those are given the reviews 
after attaining your six month construction mastery course even the layman will become a professional civil engineer so i'll just run through the course these are students working in dubai these are students working from uh, uh, working in uh, you know oman then student working in uae and all so i'll just go through the reviews given by the students you can check out all the reviews and all okay he, he got a job uh, he gave a interview got selected so go through all these reviews so that you get an idea to le what level you are going to learn and all and download my civil brain app and uh, you can enroll in this entire course so that what happens instead of depending on all the youtube videos and just get just getting half knowledge better you get a proper knowledge you get a knowledge in a structured way so subscribe to my channel and there are many videos in my uh, youtube channel you can watch it download my civil brains app so get so that you can get uh, all these courses at almost 40 to 50% off this course will cost you 3999 this will cost you 9999 this course will cost you 999 or uh, everywhere there is a 50% off for all these courses this you are going to get for 1999 so download civil brains app and enroll in the course and i'll see you back in the next video thank you